summarise what we've been through today in terms of the session. Set it wise, very good. Don't worry about things. Is my ball correct? There's my foot. There's a, mm. a lot of thought at the setup, just basically mm. tightening up mm. these sort of threes. Mm. All I would say in terms of the subtle adjustment we made with the the eye or the seven eye in particular, just make sure the club's a little bit flatter on the ground, so a little bit taller, a little bit closer. Okay, then we have that club sitting from there. Okay. In terms of the swing wise, back swing wise, absolutely fine. Staying nicely over the golf ball, that's pretty good. Okay. What we've got to try and focus on now is as you come into the golf ball is keep everything moving this way towards target. So that will help your left arm maintain as we come through. So there's your good impact there. It's just starting to bend a smidge. If you look at this one here now as you come through, body from here now stops with your left elbow already. And then at contact now. Yeah, it's bending. That's yeah. the difference in those two, okay? Now yeah. it's not about keeping your left arm straight. If you try to keep your left arm straight, if you keep your left arm straight, you'll lock it. Yeah. If you lock your left arm, you can't move your body because your whole body will just lock and seize yeah. up. Your grip yeah. will get tight. So you so start coming back. Right, absolutely fine. Because yeah, your arms, when you lift your left arm to start with, your left arm is not straight, is it? No. And doesn't really want to be saying sort of anatomically straight, and you yeah. just get so much tension, you won't be able to move. Yeah. So allow the arm just to flex and sort of hinge and so on to some extent. Yeah. Yeah. But focus on more the body and everything going to target rather than trying to A, keep your head down, mm -hmm. B, keep your left arm straight, keep things tighter. Because what you end up doing is if you keep your head down longer, you hit the ground behind the golf ball mm. and often pull the ball to the left. Mm. Then in the attempt to try and stop hitting the ground, mm. you swing out to the right and then you top it. Okay, yeah. all you've got to focus on really in terms of the swing, which gives you that sort of fluid motion. If we look at this swing on the right in sort of full speed, you see about the lady's been playing golf with their swing, it's quite fluid. Yeah. Just watch the one on the right hand side. Okay, lovely. Nice fluid motion there, no sort of thought about it at all. Just a nice full, smooth swing, pop, it through. And your body, you can see no twisting. Okay, if you look at this, watch how your arms look awkward on the left hand. I'll do it a bit slow to sort of see the arm, but look at the on the left hand side mm. as you sort of it all looks a bit sort of trying to manufacture the shot it should be just here's my golf club back swish and try to feel more that you're swinging onto your left side towards target as opposed to back and everything lifting and up okay does that make sense yeah, yeah, yeah. so try and simplify things don't overthink things it's just about getting your body to work that way as opposed to up and back yeah. Yeah. if you try and keep this straight by tightening it you'll lock your arm you'll get there and you go where do i go you can't move now so you just stay back here and hit the ground anyway and then you're fearful of missing the ground so then you try and back bending again all right the arm can bend that's fine but get the body and the club moving to target more yeah. okay okay okay, okay. Yeah,